Hello friends, today in this video, I am going to share with you my exact step by step method for hiring a freelancer for creating KDP low content books. So many times what happens is that you might come across a niche that is really lucrative and that has got really low search results, but you might not possess the skill set to create the books in that niches. So in such scenarios, what you can do is you can hire a freelancer to create the books for you. So Today in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So without any further delay, let's head on to my laptop and let's start the today's video. So before starting off, let's find a niche that we want to publish our books in. So let's search for some coloring books related to kids. So let's look at some of the suggestions here. So as you can see, here are various different niche suggestions like coloring book for kids animals 2022. I think this would be a really unsaturated keyword as it has got 2022 here and it seems really popular because Amazon is self populating this keyword. But for this purpose, let's look at something different. Let's look at coloring book for kids, cool cars and trucks. So as you can see, it is a really unsaturated niche. So we can publish books in this category. So if you are not an illustrator, then creating this type of books is not that easy. You might also try various different stock websites like Creative Fabrica. But the thing about Creative Fabrica and various other stock websites is that the quality of image is not that high and everyone that are publishing books on KDP platform will be using these websites. So it's really hard to differentiate your book from the jungle of books that has been published by just using the stock websites. So hiring a freelancer is a good way to go in such scenarios. So let's take a look at this one book here. So this has been published. As you can see, this is a book that has not been independently published, I think. So as you can see, this has been published by a publisher named Rock reese press so this is not an independently published book but we can get certain idea about what our interior is going to look like so what you can do is you can take a screenshot of various different pages so let's take a screenshot of various different pages so that we can show our illustrator how our final pages is going to look like so simply hit on windows and print screen to take the screenshot of various different pages of the book so after taking the screenshot of the book and finding out the niche what we are going to do is we are going to head on to our website the website that i most often use to hire my freelancers is called upwork so i am also going to be using upwork for this tutorial purpose so there are many other websites like freelancer fiverr and various other different websites if you do your research you will find them but upwork is one of the most popular websites to hire various different freelancers for multiple different kinds of work and i have been using upwork and i have also been using fiverr but the thing that i like about upwork is that it's a little bit cheaper compared to fiverr the fees are little bit on the lower side compared to Fiverr so I like that about Upwork also Fiverr is also really good and I will make a different video on Fiverr if you guys want me to make so make sure to comment down below in the comment section if you want me to create a separate video on how to hire freelancers on Fiverr so to hire a freelancer from Upwork all you need is a debit or a credit card and you need to make sure that you have sufficient fund to pay for your freelancer in your card the card that I use is called a Pioneer card and it works perfectly fine. So if you have a Pioneer card, you can use that on Upwork. 
which I think was not possible few years back but now you can use pioneer card to pay for your freelancers on Upwork so now what we are going to do is we are going to post a job so just hit on post a job after you go to Upwork so now what we are going to do is click on this short term or part time work because our work is going to be going to take less than 3 months obviously so our title for our job post let's put on kids coloring book e -E vehicles and let's say for instance it's going to have 25 pages and our budget is going to be 70 dollars so job category is going to be illustrations so make sure to state your budget and the total number of pages that you want within that budget in your title of your job post it's make a thing whole lot easier for the freelancers who are screening for various different jobs so let's hit on next now we are going to select the skills that we want in the freelancers for the project that we are posting so illustration obviously and cartoon art also drawing adobe illustrator sketching so you get the idea select the skills that are relevant to your project also you can select digital illustrations type so it's going to be 2d illustration design style and various other things also you can leave these things after you make sure to select the skills but you can leave all other things and hit on next so our scope of our work is going to be small and our work is going to take less than one month so make sure that you select the level of experience of the freelancer that you are looking for according to the budget you have but make sure that you never select the entry level freelancers because they are not going to be that much experienced in the work that you are looking for so make sure that you select intermediate or if you have a higher budget make sure you select expert so let's say for instance if you have a budget of 150 dollars for creating 25 page coloring book then make sure you select expert in this level of experience tab so let's hit on next and we are going to decide our budget so in this budget tab we are going to select project budget because we are not going to pay hourly we are going to pay after the completion of the project so select project budget and maximum project budget is going to be $70 for our case so now let's review our job post so as you can see here we can describe the various things that we want out of our freelancer so we can write the job description here so let's just write something that we want our freelancers to know so let's So as you can see I have described the various things that I want out of my illustrator that I am expecting out of the project. So you can add various different things that you want your illustrators to know. So you can also attach various different files to give your illustrator an idea how the final page is going to look like. We just took a screenshot of various different images. So we can attach those files here. So simply just hit on this attach file and select various different screenshots that you have taken and you can tell the illustrator that this is the type of image that I am expecting from you. So, so now you can click this post your job now and your job will be visible to various different freelancers on Upwork and many different freelancers will approach you 
saying that they are going to do your job it's very crucial to screen your freelancers wisely otherwise you might end up with a lower quality work and this has happened to me few times where i hired a freelancer but the end result was not as i expected it to be so make sure that you are looking at the previous work that the freelancer has been doing so one thing that you can do to properly screen your freelancers is that you can ask your freelancer to create one page for you so after they create that page you can decide whether you want to hire that freelancer or not based on the quality of the page that they have created so make sure you always follow this tip and you ask your freelancer to create something right off the bat and you are going to analyze and judge if the freelancer is right for your project or not based on that work they have done so friends i hope you enjoyed this video and this was my process of hiring a freelancer on upwork and if you found this video helpful don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and as always thank you for watching this video have a great day